welcome you back to Talladega Super Speedway on a beautiful afternoon. When he was in that car and he was doing his thing, there's nobody any better. Gentlemen, start your engine. Glad to have you with us. Almost 170,000 strong in the stands to watch the 32nd running of the Winston 500. you to do something. I'd like to ask you to take the hand by the person beside you. Lord, our, our hearts are hurting. We've lost a great friend. He's in a place, Lord, that we all long to be someday. So let us turn our hearts from sadness and let's celebrate because, Lord, we know without a doubt that he is dwelling in your house and will forevermore. Amen. Steve Farm. Now, this is one of the Dale Hart Incorporated cars. It would be a very, very popular win. One lap to go. This is it. Steve Park trying for his second Winston Cup win. Got to run. Got to run. Body he's he's got to run down the inside. Here they're going to come to the line. It's going to be a photo finish. Park has the run off the high side. He clears the body, and Steve Park scores the second straight win for Earnhardt Incorporated and the second win of his career. Man, what a great finish. Oh, man, I, I brought tears to my eyes. Oh. I don't know what to say. Just, uh, you know, Dale's the one who taught me how to drive this place. And 
he told me to stay off the brakes and we stayed off the brakes all day long and won the race so uh you know god bless the whole family thank god for this Kevin Harvick has stepped up to the plate. He's a, a great young driver. So I know Dale would be happy with what we've done, putting Kevin in the car. Like Kevin said the other day, uh, there'll never be another Dale Earnhardt, and he just wants to be another RCR driver. Green flag, we're racing in Atlanta. Three wide, three wide. Dale right, right off the bat, we go three wide down the back. Look at Harvick at that 29. What a little hot rod he is. Go three wide, one line. Here we Harvick go. the leader. Harvick yeah, eased it into three to get a good run off four, and it got him the lead. This is incredible. Look at them. They're all over the place, high, low, and in the middle. And Harvick Look clears Nadu for the lead. Down yep. a photo finish here. Last race, we're getting ready for another one, folks. Here he comes. He's going to drive it to the bottom. Just like a year ago. He's going to get him, though. Here he's they come. Get him. Gordon got loose. It's Harvick. Harvick by goes. inches. Harvick by inches. Harvick by inches. As the fans saluted Dale with the number three on the third lap, Kevin Harvick salutes him on the way to victory lane. What could be more fitting? What could be more special? This doesn't get your blood to pump it and give you chill bumps and give you some sort of special feeling. You're just not in this world right now. There's Dale Earnhardt Jr. getting set to make his first laps here. What must he be thinking right now as he gets set to go out onto the track for the first time? Can you imagine the ovation that would happen if Earnhardt Jr. won the race Saturday night? He has a fast car, just enough experience, and tonight, most likely, a little help from above. The crowd is on its feet. The 43rd Pepsi 400 goes green on NBC. Dale Earnhardt Jr. goes for the lead. The fans all jump to their feet. Clear. Earnhardt clear. Jr. leads at Daytona. Check out those fans. They are absolutely loving this as Earnhardt goes to the front. Time to settle the Pepsi 400 at Daytona. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Flag, is sixth flag, in line and Benson down, leads down, on the restart. Down. To the outside for the lead in turn four. Down Dale down, Earnhardt down, Jr. Down, rockets down, to the front down, at Daytona. Down, Listen to the crowd. Michael Waltrip in second, but it's going to be Dale Earnhardt Jr. using lessons learned from his father to go from sixth to first and score the victory in the Pepsi 400. That's, uh, that's unbelievable. Yes! A band behind you did it for you. Yes. You guys celebrate. You love you, band. You did it. That was beautiful. He was with me tonight. I, I don't know how I did it. I dedicate this win to him. I mean, there ain't nobody else that I could dedicate it to. That it would mean more to me.